In Excel, it's easy to sort a pivot table by a column of numbers or a column with words, but sometimes something strange happens and you end up with a word at the top of the list that doesn't belong there. I'll show you why that can happen and how you can prevent it. This is Deborah Dalgleish from Contextures.com. In this pivot table, we've got a list of cities and they're in the correct alphabetical order. I'm going to take that city field out and instead I'm going to put in product name. And again, they're in the correct alphabetical order, no problems. I'll make one more change. I'll take out product and put in sales rep. And here's where we see something odd. We've got three names in alphabetical order, but above that there's another name that doesn't belong at the top of the list. So I'm going to try and sort that to fix the problem. And I'll use my quick access toolbar, click the button, nothing is changing. I can't get Jan from the top of the list. The reason this is happening is because Excel has a feature called custom lists. It has some built-in lists like weekday names and month names and that makes it easy to create a list on your worksheet. If I type MON for Monday, select that cell and drag down, it creates a list of names. So custom lists are handy on the worksheet and pivot tables also recognize them, but they're a little bit sneaky in how they use them. In a pivot table, there is a default setting that will sort based on those custom lists and everything in a custom list will come before any other item that isn't in that custom list. So here Jan could also mean January, so that's why this sales rep is at the top of the list and everyone else is listed below that. To prevent it from happening in this pivot table, I can change a setting in the pivot table. And to do that, I'll right click on any cell, go to pivot table options, and in here, I'm going to Totals and Filters. And here's the setting we want to change. This is turned on by default when you install Excel. So for sorting, use custom lists. And we don't want that. In some cases, you might want that. So you could certainly leave it on. But I'll turn it off. Click OK. And now, automatically, this list has gone into alphabetical order as expected. But if that didn't happen, you could right click and sort in A to Z, Z to A, or other sort options that you want. That setting will affect not just this one field, but every field in this pivot table. So that's something to keep in mind. Now also, if you're using Excel 365 or Excel 2019 or a later version, you can make this an overall default setting for pivot tables by changing one of the Excel options. I'm going to File, and then down to Options, and in here, go to Data. You can make pivot table default settings here by clicking Edit Default Layout, Pivot Table Options, and it's the same window we saw a minute ago go to Totals and Filters, and if I turn this off here, it's going to use this setting for every new pivot table, every field in those pivot tables. It won't affect any existing ones, though. So I could turn that off, click OK, click OK, and OK again, and now that setting is a default for all new pivot tables.